welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or massages. Come in! Come on! I've got intel! As we kick our way into a new prosperous, 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 <laughs> abundant, peaceful day, darling dears. The planetary energies are the sun in Leo and Neptune in Pisces. Bebe, it's all kicking off, mate. Leo is what? Represented by the planet is of what? The childlike spirit, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Leo is what? The fifth house. It speaks about your creativities, darling dears, as well as children. It also shows you what? Drama, darling dear. Drama.com. Hairline taking stuff, guys. You also know that the what? The fifth house is in juxtaposed to what? The 11th house. The house of Aquarius. The house of friends, darling dear. What you once thought was a friend is being highlighted. The Leo energy gives you some additional energy, darling dears, motivating you to what? Tackle new projects in a leadership kind of way, darling dears. That's how the big cat moved, darling dear. If you ain't the boss of your watches, naive, or you survey, you don't want it. No, you learn how to what? Ignore what you can't change, what you can't mold into a way, what a way of being, being like you. You can't make no one be like you, darling dear. You can't expect the same energy from others, but I digress. Investing extra effort in your appearance can help you prepare and handle what? The day, darling dear, so you can do the day with what a bomb.com, darling dear, bomb.com. Neptune's presence tells you it's unlikely that people in your personal life will appreciate you calling all the shots. That's why they're not in your personal life. Ha <laughs> ha! Laugh with me, big cat. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm -hmm. Be mindful of the wants and needs of those you hold dear tonight, darling dear. Your progenies, your true friends. The family member that are not distant relatives, dusty relatives like the pyramids. People want to feel as though they're being listened to. Not only listened to, heard. So remember to pay attention to whom needs your true attention, darling dear. Anything else outside of that is drama.com where you will get the what? The reverse fryer tuck blood as they give the one more round Julie. In life, if you have a lover or a friend, stick to your plan. Why? Because life has the if. Mm -hmm, the if factor, the what if. The lover has what over in it. And friend, you see the end to that, darling dear, where they have to take themselves off or you have to tell them to get off this stop, mate. Mm -hmm. Basura. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Remember, I told you that. Underestimation of you, darling dear. This is why the Leo sun is being highlighted today, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It speaks about your strength, darling dear. Strength that came from the inside out. You understood. Proverbs 18.6 A fool's mouth will always invite a beating. This is why you use your Easter Island and Stevie Wonder with wisdom. Not every situation deserves a comment or even any of your attention, big cat. Remember, you are dealing with tree sloth and when they are dodo dead, they will still try to hang onto the branch that leads to you, darling dears. Nothing like time, darling dears. The sun energy also covers what? The sun card in tarot, darling dears. The sun card also represents what? Apollo. Um, Apollo is a, a Roman god. He was what? In charge of music, divination, right? Healing, truth, light. All of this and that, darling dears. But it's about your transformation and your self-esteem. 
They didn't see you as a golden child, so you had to see it for yourself. Stick to your plan, big cat. When they fall to your left and right, stick to your plan, big cat. Your map, your way, the way you walk, your Bushido warrior way, your big cat way will be what? A path they will tread. But you have to leave them to time, darling dears, because time is longer than a piece of rope, according to my mother. And it's true, darling dear. They flew too fast past their nest. Yeah. And now they want to what? Resurrect a branch that you cut off. Right? The Bible said, if it offends thee, you cut that she's naive out with her quickness. When you let it linger, darling dears, it's just more opportunities for them to what? Stab you with their ignorance. Remember, life has an if. Lover has over. And friend has the end, darling dears. Fist bump, as we call in the energies of wisdom, guidance, and protection from Father God, Mother Isis, ancestors, angels, way showers, and spiritual guides. From Keitha. To Malkuf. Namaste. Energies. Up, 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 big cat. Up, up, up. As we discuss the tree sloth with their what panani of tomb in the air like a gang sign. Being pulled about like taffy, not loving their, their life, the life they created with a sound mind, darling dear. Hating the fact that you cut off your power grid. Well, if they ate it, I told you, Big Cat, we nine it. We nine it. How? Hermit mode. Self-introspection brings what? Self-improvement. You use the energy of the Leo sun, darling dear, and the energy of what? Neptune in Pisces. Neptune is in its ruling house, darling dears. The 12th house, darling dears. The 12th house of what? Hidden enemies. The 12th house of spirituality, darling dears. Higher learning, knowledge. Knowledge that you have to seek from the inside out. Mm -hmm. They're focused on your worldly possessions when you are rich in the spiritual realm. And what is in Kitha shall surely appear on Malkuf. Conceive, believe and achieve, big cat. Remember I told you that, all whilst not getting smoked. Yes, baby, this and that, as the last is first, and the first is last. Let's dive in and see what else is going on. We're going to kick it off with what? What the ancestors have to say about this. I've got to make sure I get the right book, darling, dear. Because I'm telling you, I mixed it up, darling dears. I got it mixed up one time and I confused one book for the other. We're going with it, darling dears. We're going with it. We're going in. They want the one more round ghoulie trying to put down breadcrumbs that are only for what a chicken head to pick up. Mm-hmm. Avalon. Priestess of what? Intuition, darling dear. Buffed up to a bitch in shine. Under the energy of what? The Leo sun and Neptune in its ruling house of Pisces, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You know a thing or two about a thing or two. Intuitive awakening, darling dear. You was pushed to wake up by your ancestral team. Making sure I got the right book, darling dears, because I'm telling you, it had me, mate. It had me at all key sticks and blood clot down. Eh, anyhow, <laughs> let's go with what this is saying. Oh, we, no, let's get the other two messages out. Do we go? No, it says go to another deck. Right. Okay. Let me get this thing out of the way. Which deck? All of them are saying pick me. Which one? Confused.com. They want the what? Romance angels. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let go of control issues. You can't control a dummy bat. They got tree sloth ways, darling dears. They will hang on to what they see is a good thing. Once that good thing is gone, darling dear. They will hang on. If it's a man, 
your name will be mud. If it's a woman, your name will be mud. Why? They can't get you and they can't be you, big cat. Fist bump. Mm -hmm. Allow the situation to unfold naturally outside your perimeter. What else? Oh, love yourself first, very soon, and let, let your friend help you. From the first, darling dear, you shall be the last. Remember I told you that? The last to what? Go through the challenges of life. The last of what? To eat shit, darling dear, when cake is your go-to move. The last to what? Cry into your fist over a dummy bat. Who's what? Stuck on stupid and going nowhere fast. The last of what? Be a people pleaser in a family group. When you was earmarked as black sheep because of your light, you'll be the last of your lineage to suffer that shiz naive. Remember I told you that? Base of the deck. Finances and career, darling dear, as they continue to scrabble in the dust, you are being shown ways to bend the matrix. The second, the sixth, and the tenth house, but only after you found your Chiron and your Lilith. You need to know what makes you mad. So you don't allow, make, don't allow it to make you mad. Because when you get angry, you are not thinking clearly, and you are not sticking to the what? Easter Island and Stevie Wonder, where you respond and don't react. What they're searching for, darling dears, you already have. Mm -hmm. Financial issues are a factor. Yes, baby, they have it. That's only one of the issues that can be catalogued, darling dears. The rest, they haven't seen an exorcist or a psychologist, darling dear. And they were fools. Right, let's go to Avalon. Intuitive awakening, right? Page 51, the energy of what? The Hierophant, Taurus energy, boundaries, darling dears, as well as what? Spiritual ascension. It also speaks about being what? A mentor or a student. You also have the energy of the one, the magician, Mercury and um, air energy, darling dear, with the badass alchemist waves. It goes to a six, the Gemini energy. You are communicating exactly what needs to be communicated and with a quickness. The bad ass alchemist ways, darling dear, of the magician, darling dear, you move swiftly when you are being what divinely guided. You have the energy of the five. The five is also what the fifth house, darling dear. We're talking about the sun in Leo. Everything is lining up today, darling dears. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to read it all, but I'm going to allow you to screenshot it. And read it at your leisure. I'm just going to read what catches my eye. Okay. The ethereal touch of the Avalon Priestess comes as a reminder that you are inherently intuit you are an inherently intuitive being. She whispers soul memories of your inner psychic gifts. Meditation retreat, sacred silence. Our needs to activate your third eye chakra. Open up channels between yourself and spirit. Your life may be changing to accommodate the intense process of awakening. Dormant priestess skills. This applies no matter your gender ident identification. If you frequently draw this card, it means your soul carries experience of priestess ability. You're ready to see the worlds beyond the veil once again. Unlocking your intuitive energy has a great impact on your life because it's a soul rebirth, an enormous recabulation. Lord have mercy for Jesus, Lama, Lama tongue chakra, blood. Mm -hmm. Of your energy system is at work. Your third eye has been blocked or damaged for eons. So be patient with the healing process. If your question is about how to proceed with a situation, this card asks you to pause. Reflect and listen to your inner voice. Don't take action as there's a more there's more truth and information that needs to surface, darling dears. You haven't seen it all, darling dears, and they ain't seen nothing yet. Remember I told you that. Mm -hmm. Invocation. I safely activate my intuitive gifts 
I see sacred truths. Bebe, big cat. This is the book it came from. We don't have to go and seek out intel on a tree sloth. You already know what's going on. Some have even had the what the affrontatory to try and breadcrumb you, breadcrumb you back to the mud hut that's in the crevice of the devil's balls, darling dears. Imagine that. Why would you want to go back to situations that don't serve your what? Your life's purpose, your north node. But yet, they still try to what? Try to match you with what you've got going on. Why? They're a captive audience. They're tree sloth. They're slow to understand that what they're focusing on is taking the focus of their own astro turf. Mm -hmm. They need to let it. They need to drop it. They need to let it go. Let it be a TKO. Cause big cat don't look back. We know what it's like to be Salt Bay, the position they wanted you to be in. This is why you created a halicin because your salt level is not the same as theirs. They wanted you brown bread, I told you, crying, right? As they what? Sung Amazing Grace with no tears on their face and checking for what insurance policies and to see if they could steal out of the mouth of your progenies. They will always be seeking, darling dears, and will never find why they need to go within. This is why the first is last and the last is first. But you are the what? The last of your lineage to suffer any of the what? Atrocity, atrocities they had to stuff, suffer. Why? You are awakening your spiritual gifts. You are being told to pause. Take time to smell the flowers and look how far you've come, big cat. Look at your life. The peace which can't be bought or bartered. You say boredom, I say no. It's a chance for you to get deep into your keyboard gangster-like ways, darling dears. You already have the badass alchemist ways. It's a time for you to what? Get going on new projects. Dotting your I's and crossing your T's. Let go of what no longer serves you. Otherwise, you are dig digging a double wide coffin and you will be looking at their crack for air. For air! Oh, you've got a duo. And a break dancing one at that. When you cast runes, you read them from right to left, darling dear. This one is already uncovered. But we'll lead with the one on the right. Good golly and gosh. Oh, fella, this is the world card, represented by the letters F and O. On its face, darling dears, the numbers 84, 85, 86, and 87. Someone's going through slavery and drudgery. Your ancestors already said their bag. Their bag is what? Full of consequences. Debt, right? And repo man. Mm -hmm. They're going through what? A cycle that is not ending. This is karma, darling dear. It's found their address in thigh-high red leather boots, darling dear. And it's taken up what? A seat at their broken down three-legged tabler. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about homelessness. Somebody is about to be displaced or they're displacing themselves or they had to displace someone who was an even more scoundrous, scound sc more scandalous scoundrel. Yes. Somebody's what looking at their finances, trying to what? Find a pound out of a penny to get their own domicile at this stage of the game. Mm -hmm. Lots of bad things going on over there where you can't see with your two eyes. Look with your third eye, darling dear. There is no transformation there. And you have to remember the world card is also ruled by what? Saturn. Saturn who rules what? The physical world, right? Operated on what? Scientific law. Mm -hmm. Saturn is also what? The god of what? Ag agriculture. The founder of civilizations. This is a broken home, darling dear. A broken friendship. A broken link. Someone didn't conform. They didn't understand the social order of things. What's that? They thought they thunk. They was the seed when they really was what? The poison weed in your existence, darling dears. 
Mm-hmm. An undesirable outcome. Someone would love to return, darling dear, but they're trying to match your gangster. They're trying to what make themselves appear more wealthy, more spiritual, more everything than you are. But there is no transformation here. The world card is on its face. What's going on, Scotty? We also have Lean In, Big Cat. Lean in. We have Ewas, represented by the death card in tarot. Again, the Saturn energy coming through, darling dear. Somebody's getting the rules and the regulations. Disharmony knows their address. They are being betrayed as they betrayed you, darling dear. They don't know who to trust. Tree sloth, darling dear. Tree sloth, trusting on a situation that is dead in the water. Trusting that you will come back, big cat, for more of the same. Trusting. Trusting that there is a back door open for them. You better board that shit up, right? You listen. Make your back door a Bermuda Triangle, blood. Start. Pinkies up. Mm -hmm. The death card, represented by arm um, Capricorn. Yes, baby. This speaks about what an ending. It also speaks about you may even be hearing of a death, darling dear. Somebody who what? Cause somebody brought to be brown bread over a home situation, a situation that they made into a mire. You're going to hear about these things, darling dears, because bad news has always a way of bleeding into your existence. There's always a merchant of slander, no matter how many ties you cut off, you could go into deep stealth mode. You'll still hear a thing or two. And if it's not by mouth, you'll see it in a dream, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. This also speaks about what? In the upright. Capricorn is also the 10th house. They're seeing your business success or career moving forward. They see you being responsible, darling dears, paying attention to the assignment that you put upon yourself when you heard that inner cry. For what? Shit, shit's not real, darling dears. You couldn't understand what was going on in their dummy back minds. Their tree sloth, darling dear, evil to the core. It also speaks about addictive behavior. Somebody who is abusive, darling dear, to themselves, their own physical body, as well as those around. This is someone what chucking their toys out of their pram, darling dear. A few savages short of a full on picnic. They're having traumatic breakdowns, darling dear, and still doing the what? Blame shifting. Blaming their broken world, their broken energy on you. Why? Because they know you're spiritual, darling dears. They're saying you did this and that to them. Imagine that. Talking out their crack, darling dear, they be. Why? Because they can't understand they created the karmas for themselves. They was the if in your life, darling dear. They was the lover that you are over with. They was the friend that you had to end. Mm-hmm. It, was, it turned from a friendship into an endship, blood. Big Cat Reigns, fist bump. Mm -hmm. F and O, and this is represented by the letter E. For what? Evil I and evil.com, darling dear. Elaine, Edmund, whomsoever this person is. They're looking like Mr. Ed the Talking Horse, darling dear. Talking that horse shit does not E. Listen. And they're a stuttering bastard. Oh, did you hear my voice? It just stumbled. They stutter or they lisp. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to be Lot's wife, but guess who's Salt Bay now? I told you, the last is first. It was all about knowing thyself, going within. Getting a thing or two straight in your cranium, organizing your mind, finding that your skills, your services, your routines are truly useful, but will always be deemed useless with the ifs, the overs, and the ends in your life. Remember I told you that, fist bump. What was meant to harm you made you great. You turned your hurt into hustle and your pain into champagne, darling dears. Yet still, they want to what? Swerve out of the, the, the traffic of zemblanity back into your existence after they cast so many aspersions on your name. Blamed you for everything. <laughs> Yet they want to breadcrumb their way back into your life. Be vigilant, big cat. Remember, you was kind 
you was forgiven. And you forgave and forgave and forgave until you had no more forgiveness to give. They nearly took your everything. And when you gave it to God, you've been chilling ever since, big cat. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get a deck and see what else is going on. I'm going to go with my original deck. We have the Emperor. This is Protector and Provider. Aries as well as Mars. Energy, darling, dears. This speaks about you what being the whole army. You don't need a whole gang of what tree sloth in order to what carve out your way. We already saw you with the number one as well as the five having spiritual guidance at your back darling dears whether you are male or female you are embodying all of the kings protector and provider authority and claiming dominion in your life this is also what the emperor is what a master of an empire remember i told you that you may think you're small fry but they see you as big cat they always saw that energy in you and try to dim your light mm -hmm. Intuitive awakening, huh? Let's see what else is going on. Namaste, Audra Dye, Melinda C, Fist Bump, Jacqueline, Arenton. Who else is here? Let's see. Bonita, Ballerina, my dancing cat. First in the chat, Big Cat Wave. We've got Mitch S. What's going on, Roxanne? Baby, you had to turn on that red light so you could see the blue light of the fucking ease, black. Mm -hmm. We've got Slim Jim, never too late, always there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. CB, what's going on, Delzik? I see you. Latrenda Reader, long time, what's going on? And we've got Quana, a Quiana, Quiana, Shula, hello, darling, dear. Glad you could pop in. Let's see what's going on. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Five of swords, darling dears. The wicked, the evil, and the envious have to eat the shit they try to cast on you. This also speaks about wanting to make amends. Good God, if I had pearls, I'll be pl clutching them bitches with you, darling dears. Clutching them and checking my hairline. Mm -hmm. Check your hairline. Remember when you had to wash your face like David? Five of swords, the, the bandying around of foolish words amongst the what stupid darling dears. There had to be a divine intervention. Swords is also what divine showing you the light of a situation. Someone who took your personal words, made decisions for you in your life when they lied on you, darling dears. Two of swords, one of swords facing downwards. They wanted you to be in the dust. They try to kiss, kick dust over you, the same dust. They are on what? In a prostrated on their kneecaps, darling dear, looking for a penny to make a pound. I told you. They're being hit up in their wallet, darling dear, their pocketbook, their handbag or their purse. Them have no penta cale. Do we have time for petty? Why not, eh? It's been a while. Jess, Mel, yes, I'm on my core ball, darling dear. It gets me really, really dexterous. <clears throat> Them of no pentacle, no pentacle, none, not a thing. Let me put you back where you was, upside down and on their face, darling dear. This is the disloyal amongst the disloyal. This is the same said ones that are an if and over and an end, darling dear, that have to eat what they put out against you. Yes, baby. Mm, they must eat shit. And they are getting a front seat. As they see the faith you had with the works you put into it, darling dear. Because you understood faith without works, big cat. Is Dodo dead? James 2.14. Outrageous for sure, darling dears. Jezebel's spirits. Mm -hmm. Revelations 220. They did the fan dance in your life, darling dear, but forgot to cover their own ass. Tree sloth, darling dears. Tree sloth. Mm -hmm. 
the five of swords darling this shows up quick smart and in a hurry with again aquarius energy you know these people are personages hidden enemies darling dears the 11th house is i know the 11th house also tells about us about what your hopes and your wishes it also speaks about what groups and organizations you are being inspired to cut off certain groups and organizations that are working for the devil darling dear pennywise son or daughter yeah they didn't want you to understand or even hear back or find out the level of what wickedness they put on you darling dear but yet they get a front seat to be sputnik as you washed your face like david and gave it to god you healed from the inside out darling dears this represents what? The balancing out of your chakras. It also speaks about a miracle in your life. Star card, darling dears. What is it again? Aquarius energy. Aquarius is running things today, blood. Just get used to it. Go with it. You are divine's child. You are futuristic thinking. The ideas that you had around these bottom feeders, they twisted your words. They add you out there in the streets like you was the tree sloth, blood. With the words and their actions. You had to do a deep inner healing. You had to go back into your childhood to let go. You had to go back and in some cases forgive your parents for not loving you in the right way, for showing you dummy bad moves. Now it's got me on my 31 teeth again, darling dears. We, but we've got to talk about the Luke 22, 48. The bad tabbers, they get no S. You healed, and they're watching miracles in your life, darling dears. Miracles in your finances, in your home. Your vehicles, your chariot of righteousness. Beep, beep. This also speaks about having a platform. If you've got a platform, the swords tell you alone that they're IF in everything you've got going on, and they are mouth breathing. Their heart is going boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom. You didn't know that black hole could beat. But it's beating to the dance of what you've got going on, big cat. Big cat, wave. Skeet, skeet. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck, darling dears. They see you. <laughs> hey, solo dolo. As the boys or girls on the pole, darling dears. Managing your responsibilities. Turning your back to the choppy water. The choppy water of the fucking ease, blood. Your ship will never stop sailing. And they can't understand how you're able to what? Bend the matrix with the badass alchemist ways. We saw the one. Out of many came one, darling dears. Never you forget that. Two of Pentacles. This is rolling in, darling dear. Rolling in with the Capricorn energy. As well as what? The Jupiter energy for truth and expansion. Where Jup Jupiter goes, expansion must flow. Remember I told you that, big cat? You have the energy of what? The 5-1. It was on the intuitive awakening, darling dears. The energy of the Hierophant, Taurus energy, darling dears. When God blesses you. When God earmarks you to be the one to stand out, darling dears. It wasn't an easy path. Because you felt you needed them. When all along, they needed you. Come through Rihanna, posh clap. Yes, 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 yes. They needed you and they need you now. You better what? You better not take those breadcrumbs. It will lead you straight back to the mud hut. I told you about the levels. You was here with them in the mud, right? Remember they're pigs, right? Pigs, in Jamaica we call the pig Trenton, right? They're Trenton, right? And, they, and pigs will eat anything. They tried to eat you, but then you realized you didn't like it and you had to stop the madness as you became Gandalf the White and you said, this goes no further, T-Rex arms. Yes, yes, yes. And then you rose up. But then you look back because if you do, you will slip back into the sleep of the undead. Mm-hmm. Big cat waving right back at you. 
Belinda C. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember, that world was broken for a reason, darling dear. Broken trust. In the world card, on the tarot deck, you see a naked body. A broken what? Sexual contract, darling dears. One. That could have been the death of you, darling dear. Yeah, you may have escaped with a bit of BV, a bit of the chlamydia, but just imagine, not everybody got away with that. Some people got a life sentence from what? Being with an if and an over and an end. Remember I told you that? Mm -hmm. This and that, big cat. This and that. Yeah. What did I say? Never want to come rush back in, blood. This this tree sloth, darling dears, this mattress back, this dummy bat would like to come and brock in on the emotional fulfillment. If you've got progeny with this dick dealing mattress back, this animal in a kitten or Cuban heel, they see that you're emotionally happy. You've built a stable foundation. Look, as I lay the cards. In your singledom, darling dear, you healed. You transformed and you have a new cycle, one that is emotionally fulfilled. Remember I told you that? You're bad alone. Come through, Shensia, posh, clap. They want to come and meet you at the borderline of your common sense, right? Into a what? Something that's been displaced from your life, darling dears. A fella on its face, the letters F and O. They better find you fucking obstreperous, blood. Yeah, deaf to that, Scorpio energy, darling dears. Deaf to that. This in and out energy is trying to find some kind of emotional fulfillment in a situation that they want to be single from, darling dears. They see the healing and the miracles that's come off in your life and they would love to eat at every one of the words that they perpetrated against you, but they can't. Because for your rebirth to be um to be what fully fully enacted right you have to have the memory of an elephant like that elephant in India that turned that woman into a what chalk line and then went and burped her again at the funeral you have to remember what they did but you have to also understand you release the energy with a quickness with a quickness in order to continue to what hold the cup of emotional fulfillment darling dears. As I said, you're going to have to also, it, it was also the reprogramming of your conscious mind, darling dears. I'm telling you the childhood wounds where you was taught to be, your voice wasn't listened to. Anything you said felt like a lead balloon in a room full of what bottom feeders, darling dears. And now every one of them is at your back. Wondering how you done did what you did when God called you. They're going through the wiki, wiki, wiki. Dub plate remix. Yeah, T-Rex arms is getting what they truly deserve. Because they're an if, an over, and an end. Face of the deck, darling. Justice. <laughs> Libra energy. Mm -hmm. Balance being brought to a situation. A season of resolution. For you, darling, dear. And a painful ending for them. For some, I nearly said thumb. Thumber? Yes, baby, for a thumber. Freudian slip, meant to come out. Wagwan, Robert White, right. Somebody's a stuttering bastardo up in here. They're what? They're stuttering and stammering over all what you've got going on. Audrey Die, thank you very much for the super chat. Justice, darling dear. Baby. The justice for some of you, darling dear, will, will be what? A divine union. Long term, darling dear. Somebody who's got the same gangster and energy as you. That justice alone will be what? It will have them struck to stone, darling dear. The same stone you give them with the Easter Island and Stevie Wonder. Somebody who's focused, darling dear. Someone who is spiritually guided. Pentecalli speaks about mental health. Someone who comes to what? Add to, not be your all. Mm -mm. You've got your own tableau and a tableau is being brought to you. That is the justice of a situation. Getting over the heartbreak and the betrayals they put upon you, darling dears. You simply have to. It's the only way to sock it to him, Scotty. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, B.A.B. Equality in a stable situation is the karma you're going to bring to this tableau. But nothing happens before it's time. The justice also speaks about the end of, of a marriage or even what? Um, restraining order. But it also speaks about some form of contract, darling dear. A contract that you now see clearly. Was it right for you to block, darling dear? You had to block it. Spiritually guided, this is about standing your ground. You will not be what suffering fools easily in this season. As you are what? Working towards your goals. Leave those procrastinators and bottom feeders on their face. They haven't got what they couldn't fight their way out of a paper bag right about now. They're looking for pennies to make into pounds. They see your success and your healing as you stood alone, darling dears, and they can't understand it. This is why they want to come back. Clout chasing for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's get another deck. Break break it on down just a little, just a little bit. We'll get the tiny cards. Base of the deck. What did I say? They want to come through with the cup of opium, the cup of bull swanky, the cup of what? I'm sorry, but they don't mean it. They're a Judas in a Peter suit, darling dear. They'll be coming with a full on Trojan horse. That cup's been offered to many, many that still talk about them. Many that they thought was a safe haven when it was never a stable foundation. The many that only enjoyed the gossip, darling dear. Never the healing. Mm. Night of Cups, darling, there is the what, the in and out of the one that likes a quick one night stand. They're coming back because they see you with what, the big pentacle, a new beginning, opportunities.com. You're going through the archway of life, one that you carved out for yourself, darling, dears. They see you strong, unable to be tempted off your flip flop of common sense. And they're coming in hot, darling, dear. This is a message. It also speaks about swift travel, darling dear. Messages, email, snail mail, whatever. Because they've already been blocked on everything. I don't know. Maybe they're going to do a smoke signal. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. They see the perspective of you now. No longer sacrificing yourself to situations. It also speaks about prison, darling dear. Some of them are what? Coming in with a hidden past. Mm -hmm. You better find out whether or not it is a convict that's meant to be on the chain gang. Baby, bruh. They're not telling you about a court case, a court situation that they're going through, darling dears. They're looking for a help, mate. It could also be a court situation that they put you in, darling dears. Well, what they wanted for you, darling dear, is on them. Somebody wanted you to be stuck in the what dummy back mode. If it's a court situation, darling dear, what they wanted for you is going to be on them. Big Cat get the last laugh, yeah? And the music is so sneaky right now. <laughs> Let me just rewind this, Jack. The music is so sneaking right now. Mm -hmm. What did I say? two different decks they want to come back because you've healed you stood up you're strong big cat leo energy darling dears you wasn't tempted by any what lies or subterfuge it could also be someone that's still in a throttle in the what crevice of what the black hole of calcutta darling dears trying to call you back into what madness darling dear madness this person wants to personal people want to rush back in Look where they're rushing off the back of what? Judgment blood. Listen, it don't look good. This is not fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. The judgment is represented by arm, fire, water and Pluto energy. Pluto is the planet of what? Foolishness, darling dear. Why? Because they're obsessed. I'm talking about the obsession. They're obsessed. They think that if they can get you into bed one more time, they'll be able to regenerate a situation. They better go into their subconscious and tell their subconscious that it's a lie. It's a lie. They want to come back. What did I say? Whomsoever crossed you, darling dear. Whomsoever caused you to do the Matthew 10, 14 as you dusted off your sandals and headed out tinky winky styly, darling dears. They want to come back for one more round, Julie. They want to be victorious in your life. 
They want a victory with you, darling. Yeah, this goes to Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm. All of this and that, big cat. All of this and that. And the Eight of Wands is what? The swift movement. You better, they better find you obstreperous. They are an if, an over, and an end. Remember I told you that. They see you what? Standing alone, emotionally fulfilled, right? Going after all of your goals and your dreams. One is about spiritual guidance as well, darling dears. You had to let go of a lot of things, people, places, and things to be where you are right now. Don't you forget the hard work you put in. Mm -hmm. The death card, darling dears, the Scorpio energy of it all. It speaks about what? An unavoidable change, which has regenerated your life. It was it was on the back of pain. In your darkest hour, you saw the possibilities of your life. You saw that it was a chance for you to what? Play chess and no longer checkers. This speaks about what? The phoenix in you, darling dear. The phoenix, the frequency phoenix, darling dear, as you bring about the 555 in your life. Mm-hmm. Look at what, look. This is what these Knight of Wands are. They're jealous. They're broke. If you've got progeny with them, right? Pardon me. That was a spiritual belt because I speak the truth, truth. Ping, if you've got progeny with them, right? You better be prepared or you already know that you are co-parent with a narc. And you'll be what a single parent. This person is what? Gossiping about you. They're still having what? The breakdowns. They're having financial issues. They're amongst the dis... What did I just say? Did we not just do a quick what? Shake it with Jez and Bell. Didn't I just say all of that? Look at this big cat. Then I got to heat. When I said what? Justice and judgment knows their address. I wasn't making it up. If they've got a partner, the partner is jealous of you. If they've got a partner, they're no one's mother. This person loves to gossip. They like to do it for the grand, darling dear. They're realizing their partner was only in it for the money. It's affecting their mental health. They're in spiritual debt as well as physical debt. They've got the karmas all over them, blood. Yeah, hey! Low it! All whilst you're single and minding your own business. Queen of Pentacles is on its face. You don't want to come across. That person is calculating, right? Ruthless. And they don't tell things the way, listen, airbender for sure. All while you're single and mind your own business. Emotionally happy and fulfilled. This one wanted to turn over. Third eye on them mitches and bitches. What did I say? You was woke, and woke for a reason, darling dear. Divine is reminding you to stay woke in every situation. Go within, darling dear. Pray on a situation. You sit between Boaz and Jashin, the two pillars of wisdom, right? That are what? For completion and beginning. You have a new beginning. One which is truly deserved. Why? You put in the work by yourself. Uno. As you paid attention to the Most High. Mm -hmm. What about this big dealer? What are they, what's on that horse? They just want a partnership with you, darling dears. They want things to be harmonious. Gemini energy is what? Ruled by Mercury. And it's what community? They want to talk to you. They long to hear your dulcet tones. But you're still focused on you and how your garden grows. You're going straight from the nine of peas, right? Straight up to the queen of peas in the upright and straight on to the emperor. You bypass the empress. Where's the emperor card? Anyway, it was at the base of the deck when we started. You bypass that. You've turned your back. You're no longer taking the short stick in any situation. Toxic tricks. You're focused on that whole, that brave new world that you're creating for yourself. It also speaks about a journey spiritually as well as physically, darling dears. Some of you are planning a trip. Some of you are planning to go on your own, darling dear. It's going to be extremely balanced. It's going to be a chance for you to be with you, right? And it's a good idea. Travel alone, darling dears. And keep your mouth shut. Move in silence. 
you are the one in the position to de to decide what you want in your life divine has gifted you with what a cup of love and the five streams of what passive income darling dears a new beginning somebody's about to offer their heart we already saw the king and queen of pentacles a like-minded soul i told you nothing is going on for the big cat not in the in a way that is what they truly deserve until after what the new moon in Scorpio and the what the equinox, darling dear. Yes, baby, all of this and that. Not before the 25th of October. Face of the deck, darling dear. And they're worried. This is also what some of you are stressing out. Why are you stressed? When you're blessed. Why are you stressing out? Stressing out about being single? You better stop doing that because you're putting that frequency out there and you'll get more of it, darling dear. Divine wants you to walk alone at this moment in time so that what anyone that comes into your life is to be added. Not to be a burden. You're not looking for another baby in a whole male or female suit. No. What did I just say? Cut that shit. She's not out with a quickness. You are an agent of karma, darling dears. The last will be first and the first shall be last. Remember, there are an if and over and an end. Mm -hmm. My tummy is really rumbling. They want to come and rumble with you. With their broke pocket or status. Full of the bad luck. The bad intentions. Right. The bad advice. Right. The, the what? The bad credit. Listen. It's going to have me split. Listen. What did I say? They're coming through with the subterfuge and the bull swanky. And they're going through tower moments. And they come to bring you a tower moment. You better what? Blind your eye to that breadcrumb blood. Go straight to the witch's hut. Right? Because your big cat chronicles must continue, darling dears. Know your worth and add tax. I told you. Fendi, Leroy, Louis Prada, Gucci, all of them big luxury items. They don't go on sale. Neither must you. Your time is precious. And you can't waste it on what the rinse and repeat of what you've overcome. It's dodo dead, darling dear. We don't resurrect the dead around here. You have an offer coming in, darling dear. The offer is to clear yourself because you've got the ear hustlers, earth energy, darling dear, Focus on what you've got going on. The 10th house is what? Your career, darling dear. The Capricorn energy of it all. Your finances, your social standing and status, whatever you've achieved, darling dears. We've got the Venus, right? The Venus energy is about love, resourcefulness. Uh-huh. Venus is also the fourth planet, the Number four represents what? Stability and security. Venus is also about pleasure and beauty, darling. Doesn't they come with none of those? Use your psychic abilities. Remember your worth and where you're going. And add tax. Mm -hmm. So what do they want to ear hustle from you? Because you're moving in silence. They're a captive audience. You've cleared off, cleared off their offer, right? They're moving in silence because they're a high demand, high commander, Decepticon, Pennywise son or daughter. You can't make it up. Split the deck. You're able to breathe now, darling dears. Don't allow them to what? Interrupt your lungs, mate, or your ear chakra because they be ear hustling you and whatever they tell you is a lie because their whole foundation is bombs over Baghdad. Remember I told you that? Dummy bat must fall back. Don't allow them back in, darling dears. You've got too much going on. Which is fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. Where are we? We're at the 54. I tell you, I can be such a chatty cat. Who are you calling a bitch, Claudine? You must be speaking about your mother. You talk about your mother. Listen, I told you. I don't take no foolishness over here, dar darling dears. You can go where you're going. This is how you ask people. You're asking, what did you say? Is your brother dead, bitch? Oh, let me just, where is this bitch? Hold on a minute. Let me just shut your mouth around here. What did I say? They're always chipping away from the crevice of the devil's balls. Your mother is one too. How about that? 
Just because you see me all light and airy and laughing don't mean that I won't come for you and step on your throat chakra. Are you kidding me, blood, bra, Ossi stream? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. And I'm on my core ball. And I can do the matrix with it too. Are you kidding me? Instant block and delete. Yeah. Go back to the bowels of the devil, darling, dear. If that's how she's asking if her brother is alive or dead, they're probably hiding from me, blood. Hey, hey. They've gone into stealth mode. Hey. I don't have to report them, Rabinda. Why? Because I'm a high priestess. I'm a Hiyoka high priestess. I'm in service of the big cat on a daily basis. They've already been, they're already on the docket. Touch not the anointed. I don't fight battles, darling. I'm too busy counting my Skrilla. Dot com. The second house, as I say it, about the possessions, right? What you acquire. Taurus's keyword is what I have. This is about your what? Everything growing. Your habits, your routine, your work ethic, right? This is definitely a cold case. We are all what experts of the CSI and we don't go back, right? To what tried to break us? I told you, the last shall be first. Death to that situation. Scorpio energy, right? The seventh house, death to what? The seventh house is the house of what? Partnerships, friendships shit ships right and the throat chakra means you must be obstreperous darling they talk your truth they may try to silence your tongue i don't care what they was begging for darling dears you don't speak to people like that who they think they are listen i can't even break perspiration for that shiz naive darling dears i told you you let you have to leave them where they are Leave them, Salt Bay. Throat chakra, darling dear, speak your truth. Even if your voice is shaken, you speak up for yourself and you defend yourself in every situation. Not every situation must you use profanity, but you tell them like it is. Go back to the bowels of hell. What's this? Because there are a succubi and an icubi, a full on what? Revelations 220, a fan dancer. Allow them. They're clout chasing and they would love to come back and be in your spaces when you are going places, darling dears. Let's get a final card. My eye just fell on the um, Making Magic Oracle deck. I haven't used this in a long time. On the base of the deck, you're on target, darling dears. You're on the 444 right path. Final card for the big cats. Before we push off to get great, as we remember the ifs, the overs and the end. Mm -hmm. Self-confidence, darling, just kill him with your self-confidence, right? And then back it up with your success. Remember I told you that? Strong self-belief and a sense of your worth, darling, dears. High, high, high ticket like item you are. That's how you got to value yourself, darling dear. Always love yourself. Put yourself second behind the most high. Remember I told you that? God has to come first, right? It says labyrinth. Transition to a higher level of being. Raising your energetic vibration. Enlightenment, darling dears. You've been gifted with a buffed up third eye. You've been gifted with discernment and intuition. Use that wisely, darling dears. And don't go back or bring back anyone from the pet cemetery. You'll know the body, but you don't know what's on the inside. The inside has a lot, right, to put on you. Blame shifting and mean. Yes! You remember that crazy making hamster wheel? You ain't going back. On that note, I drops me mic. Your intuitive wait, awakening was on time, darling dear. Continue to use that en energy to bend the matrix. You're being spiritually protected and guided. And remember, your boundaries, darling dears. Always lead every situation with boundaries. And don't let anyone think that they can cross it. Use your throat chakra, darling dears. You speak up for yourself. 
And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat wave. Until we meet in these tarot streets. Again, darling dears. Namaste. In life, you have, if you have, in life you have an if. In a lover, you have over. And in friend, you have an end. That she's naive happened for a reason. Make that reason count. Remember the memory of an elephant. We're not having it, blood. Namaste, big cat. Know your worth. And always attack. Because you come with consequences. Your road wasn't easy, but it's worth it. We mind them when they ate us 